Hey, what's going on guys? It's Kurt from Forever Focus Media. You wanna know why you shouldn't drink or smoke when shooting rap music videos? Stay tuned. Welcome to Film School. Alright, everybody settle down. Take your seats. Welcome to Film School. Class is in session. Hey, what's going on guys? It's Kurt from Forever Focus Media. If you're new here, I'm a videographer slash music video director. If you like learning about content creation, hit that subscribe button. Let's grow together. Okay, so for the number one reason on why you shouldn't drink or smoke when you're at rap music video shoots, I know the environment can get crazy. You got some artists that pull up with drink, you got some artists that pull up with smoke, you got people pulling up with straps. It's a crazy environment, so, uh, the number one reason I would say would be reputation. You know, if you go to a place and it's like trying to get your car fixed or something, right? You go to get an oil change, you see people over there, you know, drinking or smoking while they're changing your oil. You're gonna be like, these guys are gonna destroy my car. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not gonna trust you guys. You might not even put any oil in my you know? Alcohol and drugs messes with your motor skills and your awareness. You ever been too drunk and it's like you're trying to sit down and you're stumbling over and stuff like that? You ever been too stoned where you're like, yo, hey, you know, what did you say? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it's like, you know, you have to be sharp and paying attention when it comes to video shoots. Attention to detail, man. You might miss out on some stuff. Okay. So you pull up to a shoot, you know, most videographers have everything set and planned, man, as far as like the treatment, you know, what type of shots they want. They have all these things in their mind, you know? It's a lot to think about when you're putting together these projects. Uh, no matter how intricate or how simple it could be, you could easily forget some stuff. Uh, number one thing I would say would be like frame rates. Like when I'm shooting my music videos, I like to shoot my performance shots at 24 FPS which is 24 frames a second. When I'm shooting all my B-roll and stuff, like all my, my, my slow-mo shots, um, close-ups and stuff like that, I like to shoot it at 60 FPS. That's 60 frames a second. It's gonna be so easy to like mess that up when you're, you know, shooting, if you're impaired, you know, if you got, if you've been drinking, if you've been smoking, you'd be like, man, I'm about to shoot this performance shot. Find out the whole thing is in like 60 frames which makes, you know, the footage a little too fast, you know? I find out that 60 frames is more, like, used for the news or game shows and TV and stuff like that. And 24 FPS is more used for, like, movies, for that cinematic look. Okay, attention to detail or lack of? Look, it's super hard to get focus shots even when you're sober. Could you imagine if you're drunk? or you're stoned, you know what I'm saying? You're sitting there trying to play with your camera. You might even forget these little little things, you know? Um, to shoot a whole bunch of footage and it be out of focus is a pain. It's a waste of footage, it's a waste of time, and it's super hard to fix in post-production. So don't make yourself work harder than what you really need to. Camera movement. Camera movement could be a really tricky situation, especially when you're like altered, you know? Um, it's super hard to get like stable shots, like sober. You know, people use these things like gimbals or stabilizers or sliders, and they try to get like really smooth movement with their camera for these music videos and stuff like that. It might be pretty tricky trying to use a gimbal or pretty tricky trying to use a stabilizer or you might not be as clean using your slider if, you know, you're kind of like messed up. When you pull up to a video shoot, usually videographers come with the crew of people, you know, so they have people to look out for you and stuff like that. But if you're like solo dolo running gun, you know, the dangers of shooting drunk and high is that you can lose your equipment. You could lose your lens caps, you could lose your flashes, you can lose SD cards, you can lose basically anything that you bring to the shoot. You know, uh, Bluetooth speakers. Um, another danger is like dropping your equipment and damaging your equipment. You drop your $1,500 camera, scratch your $800 lens, 
and it's like you know these are all things that can be prevented so like make sure that when you go to these shoots keep a clean head Okay, another thing about shooting rap music videos, man, look, <laughs> most of these rappers that be pulling up to music video shoots nowadays, they come with the drink, they come with the smoke, some even come with some guns, and that is not a good mix at all, like I'm telling you, mixing guns, alcohol, and drugs is never a really good mix, like it's dangerous, um, you know, as a videographer, it's your responsibility to make sure if anybody's bringing guns to the set, that they have their permits for them, making sure that the guns aren't loaded when it's time to shoot, um, making sure that they're using them responsibly. There's been so many cases that has happened, like, all over the United States where uh, videographers go shoot music videos, wind up getting shot, and then dying, you know? so. If you're a videographer out there and you're shooting rap music videos, remember you're responsible to make sure that you keep a safe environment for all the people around you and yourself. So I've been shooting music videos for like the last 10 years. Um, I feel like these are some of the mistakes that I've made early on in my career. And I feel like, you know, I might as well speak my truth and you guys can learn from it, you know? No need for everybody to make the same mistakes, right? Um, if there's anything that I might have left out, feel free to throw that thing in the comment. I appreciate you guys tuning in to film school. And don't be late to class for the next video. See you soon.